in times that we may feel stuck or unsure about the future, I found that visualizing for ourselves the future we'd like can help us get out of any stuck situation. When I was in college, I found myself in a pretty stuck situation. I was cleaning porta potties. I would clean for about 15 hours a day, rain, snow, or sun. I was always at work. My job was so bad that one day I showed up to work and there were two young convicts there. Apparently they had put a dry ice bomb inside of a porta potty and the whole thing exploded. And so their punishment was to do my job for a week. Yeah, the government decided to use my job to teach convicts a lesson. As much as I wanted to quit that job, I couldn't really do that. I had an incident where I had backed the truck into a garage door, completely destroying it in the process. And so my punishment was to either pay $1,000 to have the garage door fixed or be incident free for a year. And since I didn't have the money, another year of cleaning porta potties was my sentence. I realized that if I really needed to quit that job, I could have borrowed the money and paid for the garage door. But I was having this conflicting feeling that maybe staying in that job a little longer was the exact place that I needed to be. So you can imagine the conflict and the despair that I was feeling. I literally was stuck in a crappy situation. In an act of hope, I got out a pen and paper and wrote my future self a letter. Dear Stuart, this letter is from someone who knows you quite well. You're cleaning porta potties right now and you have no idea how you do it and you wonder where you'll be in six months. I explained some of my hopes and dreams and visualized for myself this future that I would like to have. I put that letter away and planned to read it at some future date and then got back to work. I did make one change. Instead of listening to talk radio and music, I began listening to inspirational podcasts. One of these podcasts inspired me to buy a video camera and start making videos. A friend of mine saw me with this camera and he offered me an internship at a video marketing firm. I gladly accepted and by a miracle alone, I was able to quit the porta potty job and work out a deal with my employer to not have to pay for the garage door. After a few months, I decided to put my newly acquired video skills to the test and made my own YouTube video titled Mistletoe Prank, where we went to a college campus and asked people if they celebrated the tradition of the mistletoe. We edited the video together and I uploaded it to my YouTube channel, which at the time had nine subscribers. Within an hour of being awake, the video had 300 views and then continued to grow the rest of that day, receiving millions of views that week. Those nine subscribers grew by the hundreds of thousands and my life as a YouTuber began. Looking back, it's easy to see how one thought and one idea led to the next, but at the time it was a lot of steps into the unknown. But it was that process of visualizing for myself a better future which gave me the hope to move forward. In fact, brain researcher Tally Sherritt has done research on this and shown that the more concrete our visualization can be for the future, the more momentum it can give us out of tough times. Recently, I came across that letter I had written myself and I looked at the date, June 12th, 2012, and then noticed the line, you wonder where you will be in six months. December 12th, 2012, exactly six months from that date, was when I uploaded my mistletoe video. Now, that may be more of a coincidence than it is an exact science, but for me, it was an important sign that the path I was on was the right one. I think that's what may have worked in my situation. As dire as the situation was, I had visualized for myself some things that I wanted, and all day, that's all I could think about. I spent my time listening to how other people got out of their situations and continued to solidify this vision for the future. Today, my collective following is over 3 million people and my videos have been seen over 1 billion times across various platforms. I'm so grateful for the optimism that my younger self had in that moment of despair when he was cleaning porta potties. I believe that hope for the future does work and one way that I have found to make that hope tangible is the process of writing myself letters but you can also do it through vision boards or meditating on the future that you would like. Hope for the future 
may not change the entire world, but I do believe it will change an individual, and that may be just as significant. Thank you.